So here we are back in the yard at Cracker Boy. Only this time, we're actually across the street, which I've never been over here before. And what is this? That's not my boat. Boy, she is pretty. Oh, they're trying to find the, oh. Hey, Randy, take your phone over there. They're looking for bulkheads. Holy cow, she's a beamy girl. Big old beamy girl. No shoes on the boat. You're changing into your work clothes, right? Okay. I'm talking to him. This current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. So are you gonna make Randy drill the holes in his brand new 53 oh, foot boat? Oh no, I'm gonna take the whole saw and jam it up in there. And I got this. Of course I'm gonna make Randy drill the holes in his own damn boat. Hello. Randy, how do you feel about drilling holes in your brand new boat? Well, I gotta tell you, a fellow's gotta have balls the size of <laughs> rhinoceros. <laughs> I'm growing balls. Real quick. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are gonna measure three times before cutting, uh, or four. grinding, or yeah. drilling. Okay. okay, good deal. Everybody Measure prepared. seven times, oh, cut once. Did we bring fiberglass repair stuff? No. <laughs> well, in case we make a mistake. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> He's not funny. <laughs> okay. Buddy's cute. So what are we doing down here, babe? We are measuring it's fine. And, and measuring and measuring. Eight inches below water line. I guess it just depends on where we put this back one. Are we still flat? Yes. Okay, let's do that then. Okay. I'm ready to drill this one and that one. The outside one on the inside of the hole will be um, drilled from the outside in. Yeah. Okay. Let me go measure again. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to measure too? Like have two different hands at it? We've already measured. Uh, but He's re-measuring. Okay. I have to measure from in here because I have to miss these lines. Right. As long as he's good with what, what you're good with. That one is, yeah, that's flat. So what is it? 18. From center of that, of that outlet. 66 from center of that port back. Okay. 31 from the top deck down. Yeah. And then mark it. Give me a water, please. Say again. 31 and 66. Yes, sir. Take within an inch by just turning that into a screw hole. All right. Do it. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get a video. All right. So, you ready for me to drill? You ready? Yeah. Yep. Oh, Lord of mercy. Uh, oh, this is scary. I'm praying for you, Randy. I'm praying for you. <laughs> oh, here it goes. <laughs> what do you say? Oh my god. Yeah. It's two oh, layers. A so. blower fan just came back on. Dead perfect drill the big hole. Oh my god. Here's the other. Is there a big bit? Here's the big bit. Yeah. Yep. Wait. Yo, you want the template? I do after I drill this. Okay, hang on one second. I gotta drill the center hole first. You gotta drill the center hole first or no? No. No, hang on. It's easier to do the template without the center hole. It's up on the table up here. There. Here's your template, Randy. Here's your son. Okay. So he wants me to drill the... No, no. Here's what I want. We're gonna take this. Yep. You're gonna, you're gonna 
Is this our little bit? Well, now that's your next size up, but here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna drill through that center. Yeah. And you're gonna drill that through that, and that's gonna hold that piece of paper where you want it. Oh, yeah. Okay, absolutely. And then you can spin it to get your holes aligned so that they're level left, right, and forward. Got it. Okay. Here we go. Great angle for this. <laughs> We're not a T and A. I'm just gonna We're watch you friends. sand, Jack. You're just gonna watch me sand. Mm -hmm. Great for the ratings. Like this might be the thumbnail. I think you're getting done. Let's use that that hole. What hole? Let's use that original hole that we were using. The original hole we were using. At six inches. At six inches. You know what he's talking about? The original hole you were using at six inches. Six inches to the stern. Six, the six <laughs> inches from the center of the stern hole? No. No. Six inches. This is the best game of telephone ever. Six inches. From the center of the old hole six inches from the center of the old hole towards the stern towards the stern like it was originally like it was originally maybe this is worth a trip out of the hole okay that's six inches from uh from whatever that outlet is six inches from whatever that outlet is yes yes okay down. And 23 down? We are using Lumatech C Blaze X2 6000 lumen lights. Not sponsored, but if Lumatech wants to sponsor it, Contact us below. I gotta tell you, ladies, Scott Clark. Oh, here we although go. be it sometimes a bit crunchy, <laughs> he is a wonderful human being and has a great sense of humor and is talented beyond belief. He just doesn't want me to go home. I don't want him to go he home. He needs somebody to drive this boat home. <laughs> <laughs> and to help me finish this bullshit. <laughs> True so there you go. And he is a man of many talents. That's I can cool. give you that. Well, well, while I'm down here waiting, this is what the 53 engine room looks like from the inside. You can store a few dead bodies in here. Randy better be good. Spaces is brought to you by so I couldn't tighten it enough Jack is down there being strong for me what you put all the wire glands on upside down <laughs> the pushy part goes through the hole that's why they call it a wire strain relief <laughs> <laughs> so we've now we've all we've <laughs> Oh. Nobody told me that. Apparently, it looked like it pushed every, right up against the wall. We broke a few rules and a few pieces of equipment here today. So, oh my god, you're covered in 5200. 
Yeah. You want? Do you want some gloves? We've got 52. Well, a good thing I only got to three of them. <laughs> yeah, good thing. We're working on problem number four. Buy a boat, she said. It'll be fun, she said. <laughs> that bitch is a liar. <laughs> you can't trust that bitch. You can't believe nothing she said. <laughs> <laughs> I love you! Whew. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. The boat life. Here we are. You know, we're not on the sailing the space between. We're on the naughty nights, and it's been a naughty time with no fun. Actually, I guess it's kind of been fun, but we've had a few things. A few broken screws, some cuts, some scrapes, some bruises, and uh, now it's time for an ice cold beer. Oh, thank you for not throwing me under the bus that I put the uh, brackets on backwards. But Oh, I'm not saying a word. No, that's all right. I think I got it on video already. That kind of stuff happens. All right, kids. We'll be back tomorrow for some more fun. yippee yo okay <laughs> What we doing, kids? Woo. Nothing like drilling holes in your prop mount thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn it. We're all down here. Another battery. battery. We're getting the uh, spurs put on so that uh, when you happen to run over a rope or something in the water, it will cut that and not, not a lobster pot. Yeah, or not a lobster pot. No, exactly. no, we definitely will not, not be rope. aiming for lobster pods. Definitely. No, no, but those poor props hang way down and are susceptible to a lot of stuff. So yes. these spurs are going to cut that stuff so we don't have to stop the boat, get out snorkel under there and try to fix it with a pocket knife. So it's a pretty neat technology and the great people at Spurs here in Fort Lauderdale actually manufacture these right there. Um, and they do an excellent job. Here's a, for those of you interested, check them up on the internet, Spurs, and uh, they do a heck of a good job of building a great product. So. Not, not sponsored. Not sponsored, oh no, not sponsored at all. No. <laughs> So, is it something that turns on, or is it, it spins at the same time as the prop spins? It spins with the prop. This is held still like this. Oh, well, that makes more sense. So what happens is, is this goes in here, or is that? Oh, so it's that. schwank. Don't get a finger in there. Well, I guess the prop. So Randy already won't be. tried to take his finger off once. And then he decided that he liked his fingers, so <laughs> he quit doing that. So the most important job on the boat is to install said so, yeah. hole. So the boys, while they're doing the spurs and the, finishing the lights, thought it was going to be good to have us do the through hole. And my <laughs> We'll see how well that works. Well. So yeah, we're uh, we're gonna install our first through hole and pray that it works. Yeah. Wish us luck. <laughs> Hopefully we don't think of a <laughs> thread on that. Uh, so. And here's a thread. Thread on that. In there. Okay, so we're just gonna thread we're that gonna onto there. Polly, getting in those tiny. Woo, look at that tiny spot down there. And the boys seem to be having a hard time with brass screws. the first person that discovered yeah, right. diaper know. paste I, works yeah, on underwater I life. <laughs> I, I probably found out about it 25 years ago and, yeah, I, and it was news to me. I, 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 I wonder I if uh, Boudreaux's butt paste would work. <laughs> for us for the in the drop in since we're not at slack tide. Yeah, keep the fenders between me and the south. So after the 
they splash the boat, they give you a few minutes to go down and check on things, make sure nothing's leaking, especially things like new through hulls. So Holly wandered her way back into her tight space where she checked the through hole to make sure there was no water leakage anywhere. Then we cracked the uh, lids on the strainers to get some water up to them and got everything fired up. Now had we found a leak, that would have been a problem because now we'd have had to pull the boat back out, hopefully fix the leak quickly and get back on in the water before having to block us all over again. But everything went fine. We even got some nice fish to send us off to say goodbye. So with the lights, through holes, and spurs installed, it was time to head back to Fort Water. And there's nothing more satisfying than a job well done. The spacing and the lights look great. And thanks to all our subscribers and patrons, we really appreciate all you do for us. See you next week.